Welcome back to another episode of Bass Bros. And today, guys, we are at this like swamp looking place. I know there's a lot of yellow bullheads in here, so that's actually gonna be the target species of the day because the last time I went fishing for catfish, it didn't work very well. So at least this time I can catch a bullhead, which is similar to a catfish, I hope. Same thing. Yeah, I mean, we got the bobbers out there right now with some worm. So we'll catch you guys when we get a fish. Yes, sir. Uh, Woo. Very exciting type of fishing. Oops. Is this your first time catching a bullhead? Oh uh, yeah, and a and it, and a leaf at the same time. Well, here's Martin's first fish. So first fish of the day, and we're gonna send him back on his way. See you later, my guy. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, he's someone. Someone's sort of taking it. Yep, there it is. Oh, rib. He came off. He definitely ate my worm. Oh, I have him. Never mind. Sheesh. Let's go. Look at that's that's a big one, dude pretty big for this spot so as you can nice tell one. we are micro fishing and this is probably one of the bigger ones I've caught out of here just a nice little yellow bullhead I think if I'm wrong let me know but I think I'm right I think he lost all of his blood we're gonna just let him go yeah I doubt he's gonna live but <laughs> rip special word from our sponsors don't let the fish bleed it's not good <clears throat> oh. you lose them I don't know. oh <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, I got it. It's going so smooth today. Oh yeah, today's a great day to, yeah, to wake up today, guys. <laughs> Don't worry, uh, this video is not over. We still got a lot in store today. I think there's slime on this. Yeah, um, that's that's a nice tangle right there. Yeah, but don't that's, worry guys. That's beautiful. We'll be back with more, okay? Oh my gosh, that was a big bite. Yeah, he just oh, chomped yeah. it. It's guys, this has taken way too long, but we finally... Holy biggin, dude! What the heck? Dude, that's a big freaking bullhead. I'm not gonna lie, that is probably the biggest one I've ever caught out of here. That is Chungus. Like, sheesh. He's the first one that didn't swallow it, so I appreciate that. Because we don't like when they all start bleeding for no reason. That is a big old bullhead right there, guys. Sheesh. Like I said, it's probably my biggest one I've ever caught out of here. It's probably 10 pounds, I would have to say, state record. But it's a good catch for me. We're gonna let this little guy go. And I just enjoy catching catfish for you guys, because the last catfish video, as you know, kind of, kind of was a fail. Where's your bottle there? It is. Oh, don't worry about it. All right. <laughs> you literally, my guy. Dude, like, you were getting fish here, and then you just stopped casting it. Oh my gosh! Instantly, instant, instant. Oh my gosh! Another chungus. I found the juice. So well, actually, Martin did. I just stole a spot. Bro, that's actually. <laughs> that's chungus, dude. That's like bigger than the last one. That's my new PB bullhead. Let's go. Yeah, this one's 11 pounds. The last one was 10, so just slightly bigger, but that's what we like to see. I just love catfish. They're super cool. Wish I could catch the channel catfish, but I suck. So these guys will have to do. All right. See you later, guy. You gonna hold that, them? No, I don't want to hold that. This is that's a sardine. Bro. What is that? <laughs> I'm disappointed. I'm more disappointed than excited. Dude. You're disappointed. <laughs> I a shark dude, and I caught this is impressive. Bait. That's bait. Catching a fish this small is honestly impressive. It's probably the size of a goldfish, honestly. Oh, I'm just saying, like I might take him home and put him in my fish tank, cause that'd be cool to have in my tank. Even I just let him go though, but you got oh, upgrades, people. Upgrades. Upgrade. There you go. That's a lot better. This one's a this one's an average size sort of fish. If I was a fish, this would be me. Uh, would you like to hold one of your fish? Or? Sure, why not? Let's see if I can even hold them see straight. You can hold them. Just don't get killed by them. Cause it doesn't hurt that bad, but no. like if you can avoid it, I would. Yeah, this one's a little dirty. I feel bad for him. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, I just feel bad holding him now because he's covered in dirt. So it's a good fish. I'll let him back in the water though. Boom. Nice. Now he's clean and off back with his family, so that's all that matters. Uh, but we'll see you guys in the next fish. Jeez! No this way. little guy. This guy had a lot of kick in him. He just took this bobber and went all the way to the lost city of Atlantis down there or something. That's pretty cool. It's a funny one, Joe. Yeah, I'm so. That's why you guys all sub to me because I'm hilarious. 100%. But if you aren't sub to me, you probably should. Hit that subscribe button. Yep. And the bell. If I get 100 likes on this video, I won't get a haircut and I'll make it a mullet. Although Ooh. by this video, by the time this video uploads, I've already have gotten a haircut. So this will probably come out in like three weeks. <laughs> Not getting a mullet though. Not getting a mullet. He's croaking. Oh, he's waving to you guys. Look at that. Hi. All right. Cute little bullhead. I don't know. I caught like a lot of them, but they're fun to catch. And, oh, I almost fell. See you later.
I don't know. Joey just got the biggest like, one I've ever seen. Ah, oop-ta-boo-ba. That was not know. English. <laughs> he did tangle up my bobber though, but I'll fix that later. I'm just gonna show you guys just the beauty of this big old fish right here. Like, look at, oh my gosh, what the heck was that oh, bug? That's a good thumbnail. That was scary. Like, oh my gosh. Like, yeah. honestly, this this might be my biggest one. Let, let's get a release real quick, yes. guys. Oh. He's stuck in the grass. <laughs> Your fault. You flopped. There you go. I'm just like at this point stealing your fish. Like, oh, like, goodness. like they just like me. No way. Let's go. Oh, I casted right next to you and caught it. How do you feel? Another little bullhead. Just catching a ton of these guys. The day's turning out now how I expected it. But there's a little spot there that we weren't catching anything, and I was like, I, I, I swear we can catch a lot of fish here. Oh yes, there we go. Got another one. This might be my smallest one of the day. Yeah, I'm, I'm taking after you right now. It's not the, the smallest fish of the day, but it's also not the biggest. Just a nice average size right there. He's covered in rocks, so I'm gonna let him go. And see you later, my guy. Oh my gosh, instant. It's just clockwork right now. Dude, I don't know why you're not casting over here. Like, this is where all the fish are. Just a nice bullhead. A little small guy, though. Yep. I mean, I can't catch big catfish, but at least I can catch a catfish for you guys. So, see you later. Oh my gosh, you almost spiked me. Yep, there it is. Oh, that feels like a big one. That's a tank, dude. Yes, sir. Look at this guy. I mean, oh. <laughs> is he going to release himself? Is he going to... Can you do it? Uh, let's see if you can do it. Take a vote in the comments down below. Do you think he can do it? I think he can do it. Never mind, he can't do it. Okay, he got it. There he goes. Quick and easy release. Uh, so here's my fish. He's a little rocky right now. Um, I'm gonna put him back in the water because I feel bad for him again. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's like my fifth fish or fourth. I don't know. Joey has a counter. Put a counter or something. I don't know. Or if you've been counting. Oh yeah, do that. If you're counting, put in the comments how many fish I've caught uh, at this point. Actually, don't do it just now. Do it like later. But uh, yes. Don't know what I'm saying again, uh, but I'll catch you guys on the next fish again. <laughs> Dude, if you're allowed to hunt here, like I'm saying, this is like a great duck pond. Oh, there's, it's also a great spot to catch these little bullhead. Sheesh. Like, oh my. I'm catching like a ton of these. But, like, it's really shallow, marshy area. There's some ducks chilling over there. Dude, I could easily like nail some ducks right now. But also I don't have, yeah, I don't think YouTube likes hunting anyways, so. Never mind. See you later, my guy. Is what I make like 20 bucks? Oh my gosh, that's a big one. Sheesh. What happened to my rod? What the heck? That's a tank. That's a tank. Oh, that's that's in my new PB already. I broke my PB like seven times today. Yeah, that's definitely my PB bullhead right there. Just broke my PB like seven times today. And why is he just waving his little fins right there? So yeah, the spikes are right there. See that? If you feel it, it's hard. And then at the end right there, it's a barb and that's what would spike you. Gotcha. So that's what you just want to avoid. So yeah, it's definitely a nice looking bullhead. If we caught channel catfish, they'd be a lot bigger. I thought he was about to just fall, but he didn't. Just look at that beautiful fish. I'm gonna let him go because he is wiggling a ton. That means he doesn't like me. All right, guy. See you later. Broken. Do you want you want him? No, cut the, cut the cameras, cut the cameras, man. This is, like I said, this is the size of my Pinky. Look at though. that. It's probably my, not my PB, my, what's the opposite of PB? Well, that's your PS, personal smallest. Personal smallest. All right, guys, well, that's the fish. <laughs> uh, that's, that, I don't even know what to say. I'm speechless. Yeah. There's one more. Yeah, we got to catch one more here, and then we'll go to the bridge, and then we're going to go to Chipotle. So we got it all planned out, guys. Does he, does he have it? Oh, he's got it. Yep, there he is. Jeez. Oh, oh. no, nope, there he goes. Oh, I almost fell. Come here, little guy. Just another little bullhead. And we're gonna let him go, because he came off. There he goes. Oh, made it to the bridge, but there's a ton of seaweed down there, so don't really have much spots to fish, but I guess we'll try in the only spot that's open, which is right here. Oh, I hooked him. No way. Look at this little guy. A little bluegill. Or a pumpkin seed. Wow, it is windy. So, just caught my new PB pumpkin seed. As you can tell, it is an absolute monster. I think Jeremy Wade actually went after these guys in the River Monsters. That's how big and ferocious they are. So we're gonna let him go before he eats me. So, he's got a long drop. 
See you later, guy. Dang, he's like he's like a deep diver in like the Olympics or something. That was a 10 out of 10 right there. He actually just won gold. Yeah. I'm just gonna shut up. What am I even saying? Hey, yeah, hey, little baby. Just tied on a smaller hook and it paid off. Cause we like to catch small fish. We love catching. That's the title of the video: catching small fish in diseased waters. Yep. Uh, guys. All right, guys. All right, guys. Well, here's uh here's the fish I caught for today. Oh, I'm just having a little show right there. Uh, nice, nice. I'm gonna call him Big Fish, Big Fish Jim, and we're gonna jump him back in the water. <laughs> uh, hot potato with him. I have hot potato. All right, so say goodbye to little fishy guys. Right, Nick so this one's just for you my guy we're actually heading into Walmart right now and we're gonna try to find the chef Boyardee pizza just for you and we're gonna make it today so stay tuned for that if you guys if anyone else wants to watch this you can but this is strictly for Nick because he asked for it so we're answering his request so you guys if you actually just want to see me make a video let me know in the comments down below because like I said I'll do whatever you want me to do so we'll have fun but this is just pizza yeah it's pizza we, we need the cheese <laughs> we need to go get mine we Monster. need to go get them Cheese. Cheese not included. <laughs> you gotta make sure it's all included. Okay, we gotta go buy cheese. We got the goods. We got the good some, stuff. Some Chef Boyardee pizza. But now we're actually gonna go to Chipotle and eat Chipotle because we're gonna do that. We just went to Walmart because it didn't open until 1045 and it's now it's open. Yeah, so now it's open so we can go eat and we'll make the pizzas later, but this one's for you, Nick. This one's for you. You better you better be grateful. Yeah, I guess we're turning this into a vlog now, so I hope you guys enjoy. Yeah, we just ate some Chipotle. <laughs> I got, if you guys guessed it right, I got a bowl with some chicken because nice. the gains, you know, that chicken and rice. Tasted fire though. You got a burrito? I got a burrito with chicken and steak and rice and rice and lettuce yep. and cheese. There you go. Lettuce. Yeah, well, we ate it inside so you guys can't see it, unfortunately. <laughs> but catch you guys when we make the pizza in about, I don't know, in a couple hours or something. Oh yeah guys, here we are, we're at home. We're gonna make this uh, pizza now, I guess. Let's open it, I'm kinda, I don't know. I don't know how to feel about this. Chef Bordy pizza sauce. Wait, we have to make the dough? What is it? It just comes in like, it's like- That's a like cake mix. Are we making a cake? <laughs> make it, it looks wait, like two bags? Yeah, it's two pizzas, two 12 inch pizzas. It's like, uh, yeah, it's like I'm making a brownie or something. Where are the instructions? Where are the instructions? Oh, to think that this is oh, going to go. the body now. To mix two mix okay. pouches. What? <laughs> <laughs> mix mix two mix. Stir together mix from both pouches and one in one in the third cup very warm water. Not just warm water. Very warm, warm water. Just warm. Add in both things of pizza dough. Oh, if I can open this pouch. <laughs> I got it open. Okay. Stir it together mix okay now stir it, stir it. And add it. Oh. Yeah, one and a third cup of water. Here. I need a. It says to stir. Scissors. It says oh. to stir with a fork. I usually stir with whisks, but I guess I'm using a fork today. I'll read the instructions. It says to stir with a fork. I'm listening to the instructions. Read the directions. It says to stir with a fork. Stir together. It doesn't say with what. Oh, it does say with fork. It does say with a fork. Right, well. Stir with whatever you want. It's what it, it should say. It uh, says a fork. Uh, but <laughs> next is. Uh, I mean, it's coming out nice and doughy, so we're we're doing something right. Did you, how many cups of water? One, one and a third. third. Yeah. How are we gonna make it a circle? We don't have a circle tray. You don't have a circle tray. No. No, you just throw it on the big pan like we. Yeah, but then you want a circle pizza. We don't want a square pizza. Uh, we <laughs> we don't make pizzas. <laughs> Let me go home and get my circle pizza. Circle circle pizza maker. We need to buy a whole pizza oven for this. Is that what you want Dude, to do? Dude, we can make cheesy result? stuffed pizza bread. <laughs> no, now it's too late because we're oh, make, making one of your big pizza. Wait, did you do? <laughs> Dude, you could have made cheesy stuffed pizza bread sticks. That it sticks, it snacks. Come on, it's too much work. So we're adding a good tablespoon there right, no. into the pizza dough. And now we're gonna keep mixing. Guys, I accidentally forgot to put very warm water in it, so it probably is not like activating the yeast or whatever in it. It's, it makes like two 12 inch pizzas, but we're not making a round pizza because, yeah. We're having fun and experiment, that's what the box says. All right, we gotta throw this sauce on there. Ooh, yeah, look at that. Wow. Beautiful. Duh. 
If you've gotten this far into the video, comment down below pizza. Is that enough cheese or? Yeah, I think that's enough I cheese. I like less cheese. <laughs> okay, now we throw it in the oven for how long? Um, tw four, 13 minutes. Catch you guys to 14. Catch you guys in 13 minutes. Pretty good. Like it. It's kind of looking fire. That crispiness on that cheese, though. All right, well, we're going to let it rest for a little bit and then come back and get a taste so we don't burn our face off. Just going to make a quick little vlog. Yeah, just going to make a quick little vlog. I hope Joey puts this in the video. Comment down below whatever you want. Hit the like button, hit the bell, and click the subscribe button to make sure you're staying tuned to all these crazy, wacky Wednesdays. Wacky Wednesdays and all these amazing videos that Joey's got uh, in the future. All right, let's get a nice cut on this pizza. Just listen to the crunch. I bet it's gonna be a magnificent crunch. Wow, I hear it. Wow, that was beautiful. I hear it. Just kidding, guys, there's no crunch. Yeah. Look at that there thick crust, because I probably didn't like even it out enough, because it's supposed to be for two pizzas, but I made it into yeah, one. Look at the bubbles, look at that. It's so amazing. All right, let's give it a go. Cheers, guys. Oh, okay, sorry, okay. sorry, no, no, cheers, cheers. <laughs> all right. I'm not gonna lie, this sauce kind of tastes like beans. <laughs> it does not. I will definitely say, I can taste the dough. I can definitely say you should actually listen to the directions and make two pizzas out of it and not one because it is just, the dough is way too like it's thick very and doughy. doughy. Very doughy. Very but that's, airy. that's not the, the, the pizza's fault, that's my fault because I'm a bad cook. But overall, kind of just tastes like a pizza. Oh. Out of 10, what would you rate this on the pizza scale? Oh, no, Danny, go first. No, yeah, you got On the pizza scale? I'd give it like a five. On the pizza scale, I'd give it a six. I, okay, so you gotta consider the price. It's $3 for like, that's a, that's a nice, that will fill you up like for Thank two days know. or something. I'll, the taste, I'll give it like a four. It's not bad, it's, it's okay. We might have messed up. But for the like the price and the convenience, I give it like a eight. Eight. Hey, wow. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good for the score. The convenience and the, the convenience. price. So uh, so not at all the taste. So I will give it. <laughs> we'll give it I'll give it a six. I'll give it a six overall. Yeah. So the product is an eight. But okay. <laughs> yeah. I didn't give my reasoning. <laughs> I like I said, if someone gave this to me blindfolded, I'd eat it. Because it's food and I'd probably be hungry, so I'd give it a six for that reason. But yeah, like Danny said, I agree with the convenience. I gave it a five because it's not like the worst pizza I could imagine, but it's also not the best pizza I can imagine. But overall, it's, it's not terrible. I so. finished it, so. Yeah, I keep, I keep eating it, so I mean, it's not bad. But anyways, if you guys enjoyed today's video, be sure to leave a fat thumbs up. A big twist on the day, we started off catching some bullhead and then ended up making a pizza. <laughs> so... This video is all over the place, but if you enjoyed today's video, be sure to leave a fat thumbs up. And as always, stay tuned. Until next time, um, Bass Bros.